I'm Mazlan Othman. I'm right now the director of the International Council for Science Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific. If somebody walks in right now and says to me, come Mazlan, I'm going to take you to Mars on a one-way trip, I'll go. Intelligent mobility. I should be able to decide where I want to go with various options. It encompasses in on anything that is moving the air, land, and underground. Right now, I'm excited more about the concept. The concept of human beings becoming an interplanetary species. There are already existing technologies that will take us to Mars. Of course, there are issues of human survival on the way there and on Mars, but we already have the technology, so to speak. So yeah, space travel is already possible right now. But space travel actually offers you another kind of travel, and this is time travel. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, your body clock will change according to how fast you are traveling or how near you are to a very heavy object, meaning an object with very high gravity. Let's say I put you on a rocket and when you are on that high velocity rocket, your clock slows down. You will go away for maybe what 10, 15 years. I stay here and then you can make a return trip. And when you come back, let me say 10 years, I could be 20 to 30 years older. And what you do in this case is you have now traveled into the future. And that to me is the ultimate in mobility. Thank you. If not for satellites and observations, we would not be so aware of climate change. Number two is that in the urban areas, we take for granted going on ways and we take for granted being on your handphone. How is that being supported? It's all in space. 